One of the trickiest things about our language is that when we are reading, sometimes it's hard to know what to do with that vowel, right? There's so many different sounds, but I'm going to be able to teach you six of these vowel patterns that will help unlock the mystery of what the heck these vowels are doing. So the first pattern that we come across is the closed pattern and that is right here. So you see how we have closed and, and I want you to take a look at these three words here that I've written down. Cat, big, and tug. Now I've made them bigger over here and I want you to think about where is the vowel in this word? Is it in the beginning? Is it in the middle? or is it at the end? If you said in the middle, you are correct. It is, it's right smack dab in the middle. Let's take a look at the next word. Is it at the beginning of big, in the middle, or at the end? Oh, you did it again, it's in the middle. All right, and let's take a look at the last word, tug. Is it at the beginning, the middle, or the end? If you said the middle, you're correct again. So here's the thing, as soon as it's in the middle, something happens. Let's listen to the sound that vowel is making. K -at. It's making the a ah sound. That's its special sound. It's not saying its name, it's not saying a, it's saying a. Ah. Let's take a look at the next one. We have b, ig, i, i. You hear the i sound in there? Yeah, it's making its special sound. And the last one, let's take a look. Tug, t -ug. What sound do you hear? It's you special sound too. It's the uh sound. Good. So we have a little phrase and it goes like this. One little vowel squished in the middle makes its special sound just a little. Now this is just like your very personal own favorite sandwich. Let's pretend it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we have our bottom piece of bread, we have our top piece of bread, and then we have our peanut butter and jelly in the middle, squished in the middle, right? And that's just like our vowels. Our vowels are like the peanut butter and jelly sandwich squished in the middle, and the only sound that they can say is ah, ah, ah. just like if they were stuck in the middle and they can't get out. So that is the clothes pattern. So when you're reading new words, you'll be able to know which sound the letter's gonna make. Let's take a look at, at one of these, uh, at another word. If we have this word, we already know that the I is gonna make that I sound because it is squished in the middle. So we have p in pin. Yes. Let's take a look at another word. Here we have l -ock. lock. See how easy it is when we can see that that vowel is squished in the middle, we already know what sound it's going to make.